In the name of the most merciful Allah, I welcome dear friends, dear students, and dear viewers to one of another project, which is the hand game. And thanks Allah that this is opportunity for me to teach you how to code such a game in Virtual Basic. So uh, every programmer needs uh, to practice the concepts and the learnings of their own based on a project. So the first and the, the, the primary uh, condition to learn coding and to be a good programmer in the future is, is that you should practice everything you learn in programming based on a project. You make your own application, you make your desired game, and you will make it the, everything you want to program language. It is not the main idea that you learn everything. It is the main thing. The, the important thing is this, that what you have made from the learnings that you did. So in this video, we'll also talk about how to implement the idea that is in your mind inside the applications, inside the, inside your computer to make your good and uh, well-known projects. So for the first, this project is only for uh, le the purpose is to learn the, the, the tools, the functions, and the, uh, everything that we will, we will use inside this project. Uh, so this, this also will follow a logical uh, sequence that you should use this game and you should sell this game. You should you should develop this game better than me, then use this and, and put it in some uh, yes, uh, some some general and some local area that other person use on this and download this game. So this project is subjected as a hand game. Uh, I will work this project only in Virtual PC. There will be no extra library. There will be no other uh, uh, frameworks to do this game. I will be using pure Virtual PC 2015. Uh, so follow me to the end of this project, and I wish that you practice this project by your own to learn better programming language. So all the sources that I will be using this, like sounds and uh, these images, will be available over a link in description. You can download it, and everywhere you practice it by your own. So let's start the virtual basic. This is the virtual basic. For the first time, you need to have your own on your new project. Click on new project. So be careful that you should select virtual basic. Type the name of your application in your game. Then select the Windows Home application. Okay. So it takes a little time to create your project. So now it's already created. Uh, now make your form to uh, look great. The first thing it should be none in border. I do not need any border for this project, and the background color of my project should be white. So and uh, specify the size for your project. That uh, what is going to be the size of this project? You can uh, adjust it like this. This should be the weight of my project as a 19, uh, it's 100, 1000, and the uh, weight hit for this project should be uh, something like this. So now the height and weight of my project is already done. Let's start the start position of this project that when the user start this game, the form automatically started the center position of the user, select the center screen. So done. Now let's start uh, the first thing that I wanna uh, format my form. You can format the form by everything you can do. I select the panel. Uh, so the background color of my form should be red. You can use this like this, adjust this by arrow keys to be this location. Uh, make some hate for this, copy, paste this, and also bring it to the right side, like this. Adjust it by arrow keys, so now it's a great designed and formatted. You can use your own ideas to format this form up. So I use these two panels and these two different sides of my form. Then I need to make a level of my application that there should be written. Uh, as the let me to find the text for this label uh, hand or go and hand so specify the, the phone size for this project so uh, I wish it to be 17 so the font of chiller it doesn't matter that you should select this font you can select your own fonts change the free color of this to the width because I use the root as my house style here that's great and uh, add the picture box for your form so i need to add a hunter in here or a soldier that uh, the task is to fire when the user fire uh, something there should be some birds some bump and that uh, that using this bird some bump i decided what should be do the scores when the user fire on bump the score of the user will be uh, increase decrease and when the user fire on the different kinds of birth based on the birth name the birth size the, the 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 location that the user find on the bird will uh, be different that the user score will be increased based on them so uh, select your images i have uh, a lot of uh, images in here i also include all these in a zip file over the link that you can download it from the description below 
So these are the, the pictures and the audios and the songs that I will use in this project. This will be the hunter, this will be the button, the ballet, this will be the bird, the bump, and some other things. So let's, let me to add these all in my project, import this. So now this is my all resources. You can select all these and open up. So now I have already export and imported all my uh, images in my project. So I wish to use hunter here and uh, stretch image as a size mode. So now you can resize this up that it should be right in here. It should be looks great. You can adjust it up better than this. Or you can use your own images that you love. Uh, you may select your own images as a GPG or an PNG and adjust it like here. So here will be the name of my game and here the user will be, uh, we will type something, another thing right here because I will, I left this really sympathy. So copy and paste this image and select the bullet or the fire button. This is the fire button. Uh, so let me to make it to be, should be a little small like this. Now you can position it up that it should be like here. Uh, so that's great. Uh, I did, I'm making the, Next thing, that let's use the fire button. You have two options for the fire button. The first option is to use the, the button of the fire, you like this. Uh, let me to select the button. Uh, in here, and name this button as a fire, that when the user click on this, the, uh, the task should be firing. Or you can customize this button as you wish. So for the time, I only change the fully color size. And uh, we will talk more about this uh, a little bit later. So now let's uh, see that how it looks when I run this program. So it is the first time that I'm building this up. It will take a bit of time. Now it's completely great. Now this is the hunter. This is the hunter. Uh, and uh, so this is the hunter, the name of my game. You can see that I adjusted the, lip, the panel right here. And this is the fire button. You can add this fire button that uh, all the codes that you will use to add inside this fire button, yeah. you will all add all this code inside this soldier or this hunter. Yeah, I mean that this fire button is not important for the first time. You can add, uh, add all the codes you need uh, the user click on fire, add this codes on the event of picture box, which is this. So it looks great. Let's work on another things. So let's delete this button. And instead of this button, I wish that, that the user so uh, choose the image, this is the fire, and lay this up. So instead of cool, writing code on a fire button, I write all my codes on this uh, event of this picture box. So now let's sign it to a, a timer. So the timer task is to increase the lift of this button, this picture box. As you see, this is the picture box. It has a location for itself. For itself. So uh, this is the location. The X location is the location that I need to be changed during the execution of my program. So when the, the X position of this uh, picture box change, it moves around the form. So this position is now uh, the 354. So I need to copy this up and send this to the background of this. That is great now. This, all should, all, this always should be here. And when the user click the fire button, the timer increase the lift of this picture box so that should be uh, eventually comes to the ends like in here and the uh, the distance from the lift should be 900 et so now i wish to add this in here so add the code to the timer what should be the task for my timer uh, uh, the timer should make the pen the picture box two which is the fire to the lift of this should be increased by one or by ten so now I specify the, the timer that it should be an interval of 10. And so I think it is great. Now let's run the program. Now let's add on the picture box one that when you click on it, the timer, which is the timer one, it should be start its event. So now I press the five or you can start the project. You can see that when I press on this, the fire button goes. So it, it is now going on. I should manage this that when the uh, click on timer, write the code that when the picture box 2, which is a fire button, if picture box, picture box 2 dot it becomes greater or equal to than, than 900 ET, then what should happen? Picture box 2 
change its location to the left is equal to it should be equal to by 300 354 354 so and the timer also should be stopped Great, now let's run the program. Now when the user click on this, the fire button goes, and when the fire button left become greater than 900, it directly comes to the position in here, which is 300. Now again the user fire, and the same thing will be repeatedly repeated. So if the fire button is slow, you can increase this up by 20. So now you can see that when the user click on this, the fire goes as soon as. So I think it's not to be that fast, so it will be normal with this. So now, the time for making the hunter is complete. Now let's work on the uh, components or like the birds, like the bomb or other elements that the user should fire on them. So copy this picture box and change the images inside this to bird one. So this is the first bird. Resize this and put it in here. Copy and paste this up and fill that all pictures that you have included in your program. So also add the bomb, the bombs that the user should not fire on the bombs. If do, the score of the user will be in decreased by the thing you specify. So these are the things that the user will be face on them that should be that the user should fire on them. So but this is the important thing that the user should carefully fire picture box to be right here name these all pictures box by the thing by the name that you wish if you do not name these picture boxes then we'll be, you will be confused about the naming of this so we need to name these all uh, by the name of b1 birth one the second should be b2 and the third should be b b3 and so on and for the bump you can write bump one Bump two, bump and three. So uh, now let's add some sounds over the user's uh, clicking. When the user click on a fire button, there should be a fire uh, uh, sound for the user, and there also should be a background uh, uh, sound for the user that the user feel that I'm inside the game and I'm, I'm the, the, this game looks some uh, uh, looks real. So click on the, uh, this button and write the code to add the sound. So I have uh, two types of sound in my project. The first is the background sound, uh, which is played already in the background as a jungle sound that the user feel that I'm inside a jungle firing. And there should be a sound for my uh, gun that when I shoot on any uh, of these components, there should be a sound for my project. So for adding the sound, you I just add two things. The first that specify the computer to I'm playing, playing an audio then specify the location of the sound so I don't want to play the fire come to the, uh, click this click in here and copy the path which is D drive paste that here and type the name sound light wave it doesn't matter that it should be wave you can select every extension that you wish uh, to add the sound in here so and let's add the background sound when the background sound played so when the user run the program and my form loads the background sound should be played for this case you need to double click on the form to go toward the form load. So this is the form load event. It means when the form is already loaded, what to do? Play the background sound in here. Come uh, audio.play and specify the location. The background sound dot wave should be played. So now you can run this project. So the background play for the first time. You can listen this up. So these are the birds, which is currently stopped. When the user click on the fire, the fire button will be, the fire sound will be played. But uh, let's work on it that after playing the fire button, you can uh, listen, there is no background sound. So this is why I uh, copied this up and paste it right in here. That when the user uh, click on the fire button, after the bullet goes toward this point and come toward this point, the sound background sound play again. You can see that the background sound is already playing. So let's work on another thing. First, 
So let me to draw some other things in here. This should be the score of the user, the time of the user. Make this to be size of like this time that the user play is you playing this game. So for the first time when the user open this up, it should be zero. Change the text for this to the zero. That's it, zero. So what should happen with this when the user click on the fire button? So the timer, there should be a timer for this timer, which is timer two. The timer two task is to increase one by one the text of level three text should be increased by one so let the time equal sign here so what happened when the timer two starts when the user click on the fire button for the first time you can add this right in here that the timer two start so and the timer two is already started so the um, this should be a some second how one hundred one thousand millisecond so when the user go to start the game, so nothing is wrong right now. Everything is working well. Just I need to make this panel a little up. So the user when click on the button, you can see that the timer two is already start and start the timing. So you can add another uh, label in here to count the numbers of user that the user fired, or count the bullets of the user, or count the firing of the user. Uh, so let's practice that, that when the user, first you need to copy this all to the two labels again. Add it right here and name it the, the bullets. The user bullets, or you can use bullet like this. And make this the name, which is level 4. So when the user click on this, every time when the user click on this, the level 4 label 4 dot text is gonna be increased by 1 so when the user click on this up so this is the task of the timer so let's cut this up this shouldn't be the timer it should be right in here so that's it so now run the program so when you click count only count the user file this is the time for the user, this is the game name, and these are the things that the user should fire. Uh, so, wait, let's go ahead and move the enemies or move the fruits that the user should fire on them carefully. So, we need timer to move these again. Everything you want to move inside your project, you need that the timer too. So, uh, this should be right here. But now it should start on the panel of myself. So, uh, there is some strategies that you wish to move these uh, picture boxes. The first that you move all these by only one timer. The task of the timer uh, should be this, that if that the timer starts and change every single picture box by a different um, pixels. It should be increased by 2, this should be increased by 10, this should be increased by 12, this should be increased by some other values. That there should be a differences between the movements. So let me to add the timer. Now I rearrange this all like this. Rearrange this. Or make this something like this. Not order. This order, arrange this the order. So, and now let's add a timer for this. That the timer task is this that move these all elements. So, you should notice some things. The first you should notice that what is the position when the birds comes like here. What, what will be the Y distance for this? Like the position, find the position. This is the image location. So let's do find the location for this image, location. So when the Y becomes more than this, or more than 530, this, side, this location should be zero. It means it should go to the, toward this point. So it means we have two things, 530 and zero. This is the 530 position, and this is the zero position. When every single image comes toward this position, which is 530, it again goes toward this first position, which is zero position. We need to write these schools in a timer. 
when the timer starts so the timer starts when the user load the program it means it shouldn't be thrown off it be automatically enabled with the speed of 100 so now let's start we have uh, start to add the code for this project it is easy to add the code like in here so we have uh, different types of birth which were b1 the top should be decreased by one this is the code for the build one copy and paste this code so we have the second the third the fourth and the fifth i think there is not any six so the idea will bump the first one so and the second one and the third one so uh, this, this shouldn't be the same values because we do not want to make all the birds and bumps to come to our, to our single position. We need to uh, make this difference. It should be 10, it should be 5. At least there should be 5 uh, pixels bit, uh, distance between these. It should be 14, it should be 20, and this should be also 10. This should be also 6 oh, and 8. So this should be one i think it is already done this should be 11 or 12. now you can see when i run the program so all the birds or all my elements is moving toward down by the element that i fight before but let's make a condition for every single picture box that when b1 dot top becomes greater than 500 this position should be at the same which is zero that's also easy we need to copy and paste some codes like this if the b1 the top becomes greater or equal to than 530 then what should happen b1 should be the top of b1 should be equal to zero so that's it we need to implement all these copy and paste it up so the first was for b1 second is for b2 Let's change it up. This should be B3. This should be B4. When the B4 comes toward this position, it goes toward its zero point position. So this is for position for bit five. And also the two another three another things that I need to add is for three bombs. Bomb bomb one. Bomb one. That's great. Bound two, also bound two. So it means we have made a custom loop for our mm, birds and bombs that it is cyclically comes and goes inside my form. Now I run the program, you can see the background is already played, and these images are randomly comes from the top, goes toward the bottom. When it goes toward the point of 500 pixels, it again gets its default position, which is 1. So now we require that the firing must be on the bird. If the firing of the user bounces with any bump, there will be a, a minus or there will be a decrease for the users of the score of the user. We will talk about the details of this in the next video. Inshallah, you can practice this video as well as write the code skillfully. It is simple, simple, or really simple. You just need a bit of thinking a bit practicing to learn how to make such a uh, thing for the first time. Next video, inshallah, we will talk all about how to count the scoring, how to count the decrease and increase of users' score. So, thank you for watching this video. Uh, wish you all the best.